43 venues this year. 7th to the 9th of July, all of the signature cocktails are five pounds. Arel are taking part, Tattoo, Isaacs, Passing Fancies, Ikigai coming back again this year and they're doing a pop-up with Hendrix Gin at the Coffin Work. Really, really excited about Restaurant Festival and what it can do. 28th of July to the 27th of August and enjoy all those festival menus. Create the best possible value for money that a customer can get in your venue at that point in time. So lots of opportunities to go and have great food and great drink in the next month, two months. This week we speak to Alex Nicholson-Evans, the creator of both of these festivals that have become a beloved part of Birmingham's food scene. We go behind the scenes to see how these events were created and find out just why she does them. We want people to explore the city that they're in. Great way to explore and figure out what a place is about than going around amazing bars or amazing restaurants and meeting other people that are on that same journey. It has to be about encouraging people into those spaces. The best way you can support those venues is by getting bums on seats in the venues themselves. Actually, we all have a role to play in in changing this. And if we can't champion our city, then like you know why would anyone else and yeah I, I hope in some way our festivals are part of that change you fall in love with the city you want to make it work my goal with restaurant festivals obviously moving forward that it will be a contributor to the company at this point financially it is not um but it is for the city and actually that genuinely is important to me i love where we are i love the path the city's on and if I can play a role in some way in supporting the awesome people in the hospitality space doing cooler and cooler stuff in this city then great fantastic listen to our full conversation now wherever you get your podcast hug